Hi, my name is Malik Sampson. I'm an associate marriage and family therapist at hearyou.org. And today I'm here in partnership with Brother B. Will as a content creator, and I'll be speaking to you about impulsive control disorder. Before I get into impulsive control disorder, I wanted to make sure I set the disclaimer to let you guys know that this is not meant to treat, diagnose, or even give you a too broad of a um, scale of what impulsive control disorder is, but more so to give you a brief overview on how to spot these, how to spot this and what it looks like. Um, so before I get into giving you what does impulsive control order looks like, I wanted to tell you that, again, if anyone is going through feelings or thoughts of suicidality or self-harm, please reach out to 911, your um, local emergency contacts, and also text in the crisis hotline HELP to 741-741. So with that being said, let me go into what is impulsive control disorder. So it is when someone has severe trouble um, controlling their emotions and their behaviors. So you can see in this, with this disorder, you will see someone acting out a lot due to the fact that they don't know how to control what's going on on the inside. So they react by their behaviors. And some of the things you might see from someone with impulse control disorder is pulling hair, pulling other people's hair, pulling their hair, stealing, lying, um, having poor social skills, for this person, patience doesn't really exist. So a lot of times explosive and, and anger and violence can, can be a big thing that's happening for someone that has impulse control disorder. So these are things to be on the lookout for if you are seeing this. And a lot of times it does happen to you. There's a there's this fear of abandonment and agitation that like plays a huge role into this disorder. So be mindful um, when you're seeing these certain symptoms and like children of like, okay, maybe maybe my child isn't just bad, as people would say, but maybe there's something going on there that we need to go get checked out. And that's some of the risk is that you can have this as a child. A lot of times that's what happens. And also it's like a variation within like brain chemistry and function, but it also can be genetic. If you can have a higher risk if someone in your family has had um, in post control disorder or something similar before, as well as like pre-existing mental illness. So these are just some of the risk factors as well. And just to give you one treatment that works really well is cognitive behavioral therapy that works um, well with impulse control disorder. So keeping that in mind, and if you're not sure about that, you can look that up as well and see what the basis of that therapy is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this brief information of impulse control disorder, and I'm hoping that it can give you some more insight and thank you again for watching this video. And my name is Malik Sampson. And as always, brother, be well.